Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Ion Philadelphia, and I'm Beverly Williams. Today is the holiest day on the Christian calendar, and it's also a time for observing Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Today, we take you to a special place where everyone is welcome, and it doesn't cost a thing. The Byers Choice Christmas Museum in Chalfont, Pennsylvania is a holiday wonderland nearly 365 days a year. Thousands of caroler figurines are on display throughout the entire museum. This is our Dickens era London street scene. And you can see that we have townhomes and street scenes that are reminiscent of the time period. We have the St. James Theater where Charles Dickens would deliver his Christmas carol address. In these storefront windows, we have carolers from all different themes. Joyce Byers created the caroler dolls 25 years ago. Some of the exhibits, she says, depict Christmas in New England and Pennsylvania. Well, this is our Bucks County room, and uh, the houses actually have all been fashioned after houses that are located in Bucks County. They put real little bricks on the some and um, pieces of stone on the other. We decorated it the way people in Bucks County would decorate their homes. Included in the Bucks County exhibit, the very first carolers buyers made as Christmas decorations. They're basically made out of scraps of fabric that I had around the house. I made them just for fun because I like the whole thought of, of caroling at Christmas. 50,000 visitors a year tour the museum. They're fascinated by what Joyce Byers has done for the public. This is my first time here, and it's amazing. It's incredible. I wish I would have stopped by years ago. Her eyes were so huge when she was going through the exhibit. One of the museum's main attractions, 200 nativities from all around the world. The showpiece is an Italian one over 200 years old. The Italians, when they make their nativity scenes, are known for creating not just the Holy Family and the wise men, but an entire village of townspeople and tradespeople and what they may be doing on the day of this miraculous birth. It's really cool because it has baby Jesus. The artist who handcraft the carolers are also part of the tour. Visitors can watch them work from an observation deck. I pull the head out and I make sure there's no imperfections in the face. And then I take my tool and I make nostrils. There. I'm putting on the, the skin color to just try to make it nice and even. I'm painting the features, putting oil paint in the pupil, giving the doll its character. We put the accessories on and uh, this is the finished product. The tour wouldn't be complete without a stop at the company store. Along with a wide assortment of carolers, gingerbread houses are very popular. These are made out of resin. These are our little Kindles, and you can bend them and shape them and put them any place you want. The museum is open 12 months a year because Joyce Byers and her family believe in spreading the Christmas spirit every day of the year. Great place. At a Center City Theater, an original Christmas poem turned into a play as audiences laughing out loud. The setting is a small television studio. You merely sit and read a holiday classic in that beautiful melodic voice of yours. Just try to look appropriately festive so you don't scare the children. Twas the Night centers around an actor hired to read Clement Seymour's famous poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas. But at the last minute, he finds out that he'll have to perform the poem live on television. Telecast? A as in... Live? As in real time? As in no tape. Finally, a cool test of my skills. What the blue moon? No, 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 no. The poem is brought to life by a hilarious cast of seven at the Azuka Theater in Philadelphia. Veronica Greco is the playwright. And the city of Philadelphia is very, very friendly about um, new works. So I thought, hmm, this would be kind of a great thing, a holiday show, and it's brand new, and it's for families. A live camera operates throughout the play, allowing the audience to see both what's happening on the air and in the studio. Tonight we have famed actor Roddy McDowell and his cast of hundreds. Twas the night before Christmas, we all through the house. <laughs> line by line, the cast attempts to act out the reading with impromptu props, 
in zany sound effects. And I in my cat. <laughs> But this performance is anything but a snoozer. There's certain moments in the play where the cast starts to jump all on top of each other. And we worked a long time to make those fight scenes happen in a way that was funny, but also you could follow what was happening in the story. And These action scenes please both actors and the audience. And then I got to fall on Buck. He is a true sport for letting me fall and, and pull him over on the chair. That was really cool. And of course, there are the bloopers. There was a scene tonight where I got pelted with the makeup pad, and there was a lot more fire there than I ever expected. Oh, do you mind if I just have a bite? <gasps> Out! No! From a Twinkie-loving cameraman to a frenzied prop girl and a surprise visit from Santa at the end, this production may make a believer out of you. And have yourself a merry little Christmas. And as the poem goes... Happy Christmas to all. And to all... A good night. It was panned, but a musical based loosely on the rise and fall of Diana Ross and the Supremes is drawing big crowds to the Prince Music Theater. Here's a look at the hit show and others due to open soon in Philadelphia. Yeah! That's just one of the blockbuster 80s hits from the show-stopping musical Dreamgirls. It's on stage at Philadelphia's Prince Music Theater. The show has been extended through January 15th. The talent is phenomenal. Zellerbach Theater, the popular Hubbard Street Dance Chicago performs February 23rd through the 25th. sale for Wicked at the Academy of Music, March 22nd through April 8th. Every year, Peter Nero and the Philly Pops present crowd-pleasing holiday concerts, including the classic song, Jingle Bells. Here they are. <laughs> 